Hey guys, so today we will be talking to you about how we interact with our dogs when we play with them and we use um, playtime for one training but we also use playtime to release all the energy that they have so that during the day they aren't restless and things like that. So a big thing is creating a connection with your dog and this is done through training earlier on and always um, staying with your dog obviously and so a big thing that we do here is we entice the dog with the toy to get him like to get him motivated towards the toy and so this really helps when playing with your dog so we're using uh, something called a go nut it's one of the brands that we really trust and so I love to throw the toy at him and for him to catch it and things like that but we also play fetch to let him run and this really helps um, drain a lot of energy but one thing you'll notice is that I try to stay in command the entire time, try to be not necessarily the boss, but for him to listen to me every single time. So in circumstances like this, I'm going to tell him to sit and he usually sits and I'm going to throw it and he's going to go get it. And so what we want to happen is that every time you tell a command to your dog, he listens. And so we want obedient dogs, okay, but also playful dogs. But we want these dogs are very big, so we want to make sure that the playfulness doesn't turn into you getting injured or injuring anybody else. So here you can see he's trying to go for the toy and I'm enticing him with it and I toss it up in the air, tries to catch it, but he misses. But one thing we love to do is to improve the release command so we're able to get the toy whenever we want. And a big thing is creating a connection with your dog. Like I also do have a lot of eye contact with my dog and so Dugadi, this male XL bully that we have, he loves to jump towards the toy. But as I notice him doing this, I tell him to sit. He sits. Here I'm telling him to wait and stay and leave it. This is the command I use. And he's going to look at me. And as he looks at me, we create a connection and I tell him, okay, go get it. And he can get it. So you want your dog to follow you every time you create a command so that an obedient dog is also a friendly dog and when you can control the actions of your dog then that will really help you improve in bringing them outside and introducing them to new environments and new people.